All right, did you know that the only woman who has ever played and scored points for a Division I college football game, there's one, and her name is Katie Nida. She was the kicker at the University of Colorado from 1999 to 2000. From there, she transferred to the University of New Mexico. Katie Nida joins me for my Huddle Up segment. This is where I take a look at the trend of women in football, because women are no longer football widows. We are active fans, and in some cases, participants like Katie. Katie, I'm so excited that we have uh, connected. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, Rochelle. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You know, Katie, I read a quote where you said, football is what makes me breathe. Where does that come from? Uh, somewhere deep inside me, obviously. <laughs> I, it, it's one of those things that you can't compl can't explain. It's just uh, everybody has passions, and football happens to be mine. You know, you played uh, four years of varsity high school football, right? And if you were a guy, people would just assume, well, you know, college football is is the next step. I would imagine people did not assume that for you, or did they? No, not right away. Um, but as I continued on through my high school career, it looked like it was going to be a real possibility. Even a little bit earlier on than my senior year, the idea got thrown out there, and it was something that I knew I definitely wanted to do. Now, I know um, being the first is, uh, is never easy, right? But sure. that is an understatement, though, when, when we talk about what your path and what your experience was. When I say being the first is never easy. Um, something horrible actually happened to you along your path. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I had a really tough experience at my first university, uh, the University of Colorado. And I dealt with a lot of sexual harassment, um, physical harassment and then eventually was sexually assaulted by one of my team members, which was absolutely devastating for me. And you ended up using that experience to basically become a true advocate, um, an advocate for women. How did, how did you make that pivot? How did you do that? Oh, uh, well, it just, it, it came to a point where I think that before I was assaulted, I really, didn't know a lot about rape and sexual assault. And uh, when I started learning all the facts about it, and particularly how many women it affects in America, I mean, the numbers are completely staggering. We're looking at, you know, a one in four, one in five women will be sexually assaulted or raped in their lifetime. And then you throw the domestic violence in there. And then you, you look at our culture and there are so many things that contribute to those statistics and the fact that we just, we don't talk about it. There are a lot of myths and conceptions and I realized I wanted to be able to be a voice. And, and as you're doing this and as you're choosing to, to use this to empower you, you still wanted to focus on football. How did you do that? Well, I love <laughs> football. I, I do, I just, I love it. And. Um, I knew that I didn't want my dream to get taken away from me or my passion because of, you know, some people who didn't believe that I was doing what I was, uh, what I should have been doing or anything like that. I knew um, it took a lot of faith. It took a lot of um, support from family and friends. And then my team at New Mexico, uh, the entire community there was amazing and boosted me up and I'm, I'm so fortunate, so, so fortunate that I had a team there that was like a bunch of brothers to me. Katie, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about the moment that you first scored those points as a kicker for the University of New Mexico. Talk about that moment, that, that moment when you made history. What did it feel like? All right, here's the thing about it is it ended up just kind of, it, it was a little bit surreal, okay. but it also was was sort of normal like it was something that i was waiting for for a long time and then i got into the game and actually the best part of the night was i got into the game because of my teammates my teammates started hounding my coach and saying hey when are you going to put katie in so <laughs> that was the part that was most meaningful for me i love that and i like that it felt normal because you knew you could do it that is that is fantastic okay before i let you go i need your super bowl picks Okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and say Broncos, because Broncos are my team. <laughs> okay. And then maybe 49ers. 
Okay, and what I'm going to have to tell you is my Texans are going to beat your Broncos this weekend. <laughs> just so you know. There. Just so you know. To go there. No way. No way. Okay, we'll have it out on Twitter this weekend. Uh, <laughs> Katie, it is a pleasure to talk to you. Um, let's keep in touch, and I want people to follow you on Twitter because I want people to know the organizations that you're a part of, okay? Oh, thank you so much. Absolutely.